What's up guys? I'm Red Rock and welcome to my new video. So as of now, we still don't have a teaser trailer for Spider-Man no, no Way Home. And if there is a trailer ready, I will make sure update you guys with a trailer reaction of it. And I hope it will be released next week or next month since we only have a few months left before Spider-Man No Way Home release in theaters since the release date is December 17, 2021. As of this time, in this video, we're not going to talk about Marvel. This time, it's about DC. The, I'm talking about the DC Extended Universe. And I'm going to talk about two upcoming films of the DC Extended Universe and that is The Flash starring Ezra Miller and Black Adam. These two films are the most anticipated films for me because The Flash because it's a multiverse film which it will introduce the multiverse of the DC Universe. Well, Black Adam because not only it's because a, it's a spin-off to the Shazam movie but it will star Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam. If I have to choose one based on my excitement, I will definitely choose Black Adam since Dwayne Johnson is one of my favorite actors ever in Hollywood. So without any further ado, let's talk about the updates of Black Adam and The Flash. Before we get things started, be sure also to subscribe my brother's YouTube channel called King Wither Gaming. In this YouTube channel, which is Bright Ideas, it talks about my updates about my blog, Bright Ideas, or even personal stuff that I would like to share, like this one about my Marvel videos, DC videos, anything that I wanted to share it on YouTube. But the difference is in King Wither Gaming, it talks about gameplay that me and my brother King Wither plays games and we've recently uploaded its first video and it's about Minecraft. After this video you can browse King Wither Gaming and I have provided a link in the description below to enter. So without any further ado let's talk about the content of this video. Before I tell you the update of the Flash movie, um, I'm going to ask one question for you. Are you a fan of the Flash series from CW? Or should I say Grant Gustin's Flash? If yes, because this update will make you happy and surprised. Grant Gustin, it's confirmed that he will reprise his role as the Flash in the upcoming Flash movie. Since, yeah, the Flash movie, it's a multiverse film. Ever since Ezra and Grant meet each other in Crisis of Infinite Earths. So it means it's the beginning of the, the collision of the DCU and the Arrowverse. And ever since, yeah... The Flash movie will be based on the comic book Flashpoint. And besides from the two iterations of The Flash, two iterations of Batman will show up in this film. One is Ben Affleck, which is the Batman of the DCU. And the other one, if you're a fan of the Tim Burton Batman movies, you're going to be happy and surprised. That Michael Keaton will be reprising his role as Batman. And it's confirmed it will take place 30 years later from that movie. Which means I think he will be really old. And there are two persons missing. Because I really want to see Robert Pattinson's Batman and Christian Bale's Batman. Robert Pattinson's Batman makes sense because... That movie, The Batman, will take place in another universe. And I have heard tons of reports that Robert Pattinson will be the replacement of Ben Affleck's Batman since they are moving away from the Snyderverse, which 
it's so sad to me that I really love Zack Snyder, even his movies that he had made for the DCU, because he is the start of that franchise, st the start of the cinematic universe. Because he started up with Man of Steel, then Batman vs Superman, then it continues on until right now. I hope they will revive the Snyderverse. But another option that is good, which is HBO Max. That will be a perfect option for the Snyderverse to continue. While Christian Bale's Batman, well, I don't know if he's going to appear or not. And it's confirmed that few weeks ago, Thor Love and Thunder have as wrapped filming with the character of Christian Bale, Gore the God Butcher, which is another enemy of Thor. I don't know if he's going to appear in, in The Flash, I'm not sure, because originally Zack Snyder acknowledges that Christian Bale's Batman is supposed to be the DCU's Batman instead of Ben Affleck. The reason why they recast him because Christopher Nolan, the director of the Batman movies, The Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins, he doesn't want his Batman to cross over or interact with any other superheroes. So it's like a standalone universe. That's the reason why they recast him to Ben Affleck. But still, it's possible for me that both Robert Pattinson and Christian Bale could show up as their respective Batmans in this film. And another update of the Flash movie is Supergirl. Andy Muschietti, the director of the movie, show us in his Instagram a first look of Supergirl. In case if you don't know Andy Muschietti, he is the director of IT and IT Chapter 2. So without any further ado, I will show you the first look of Supergirl. So here is the first look of the suit of Supergirl. And for me, it's similar to Henry Cavill's Superman. If you look between the first look of the suit of Supergirl and Henry Cavill Superman, it's the same. I made a comparison picture here. See, it's the same. Or if you try comparing it with the black Superman from Zack Snyder's Justice League, it's the same icon. And I don't know what role Supergirl could be in this film. I'm not sure. But I hope they develop an origin story of Supergirl there. If they develop, if they indeed develop a Supergirl origin in this movie, Henry Cavill's Superman should show up in this film. But I've heard a report that he will, is in talks to star in the upcoming Highlander reboot that has been developed since over a decade. And I think he's going to play the character of Christopher Lambert from the 1986 film Highlander. And as I said earlier, they wanted to move away from the Snyderverse. And I have heard there will be a Superman reboot of the DCU from producer J.J. Abrams of Bad Robot fame. And this will feature an African American actor to play Superman, not Henry Cavill. And I hope Warner Media will still use Henry Cavill's Superman again. That they made it clear that J.J. Abrams' Superman reboot is supposed to be an Elseworld Superman. And I have heard in the Gigosity magazine is that Henry Cavill is still Superman after the Highlander role. That he could able to show up in a Supergirl film. Or even that he will have a combat fight against Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam which... Yeah, about Black Adam, I'll talk about it later. And it's confirmed that Supergirl will be played by Sasha Kale. So now we're done with the Flash update, and now let's proceed to the Black Adam update, which, yeah, this is the, one of the anticipated DC films of all time. I'm really excited to see this film, because one, it's a Shazam spinoff, and two, yes, it will star Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam, which... Yeah, he is one of my favorite actors of all time in Hollywood. But besides playing Black Adam, yeah, he's playing the... He will be voicing the Superdog 
of Superman named Crypto in the upcoming DC League of Super Pets. Which, yeah, it's an animated film. But they say it's a second movie of Dwayne Johnson in the DC Universe, but it goes first before the release of Black Adam. So without any further ado, let's talk about the update of Black Adam. The only update of Black Adam that I would like to say is that the Justice Society of America has been completed. Yes, the four members of the Justice Society have all their actors to play the Justice Society in the movie Black Adam. So Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam will team up with four members of the Justice Society, which is Hawkman, Dr. Fate, which yeah, these two are the original members of this team, Adam Smasher, and Cyclone. In case if you don't know the Justice Society, it is a, it's just like the Justice League, which yeah, it was formed in World War II. It is the Golden Age superhero team. So without any further ado, I will reveal that who are going to be playing these characters in case if you haven't heard of it yet. For Hawkman, he will be played by One Night in Miami's Aldous Hodge. The only movie I've heard and watch about him is What Men Want. Next, you know this guy as James Bond. Yes, Pierce Brosnan. He'll be playing Dr. Fate, the Sorcerer of Fate. And in case if you're not familiar with Dr. Fate, if you compare him with Marvel, he's like Doctor Strange. And the only movie movie I know about Pierce Brosnan is the Percy Jackson 1 and 2. Yeah, which he plays the centaur Chiron, which it really fits on him. The next one will be Cyclone. And she's like Red Tornado. And it's because, yeah, she is the granddaughter of Red Tornado. Red Tornado is one of the members of the Justice League. And she will be played by Quintessa Swindell. And I, I don't know that actress. Yeah, she starred in Netflix's Trinkets. And the final one is Adam Smasher, Albert Rothstein. Besides from Adam Copeland that who previously played Adam Smasher in The Flash, he'll be played by Noah Centineo. Which yeah, I have watched two of his movies, which is Charlie's Angels, yeah, starring Kristen Stewart, Elizabeth Banks, and the other one is, yeah, which is, he is the main star of this movie, and that is The Perfect Date. So that is all of the actors that who are going to be playing the Justice Society. So before we end it, let's recap everything about the actors who's going to be playing the Justice Society. Aldous Hodge as Hawkman, Pierce Brosnan as Doctor Fate, Quintessa Swindell as Cyclone, Noah Centineo as Adam Smasher, and of course Dwayne Johnson as Black. Adam and I hope sometime in Shazam 3 maybe black Dwayne Johnson's black Adam will face to face in a battle against Zachary Levi's Shazam which I think most likely Dwayne Johnson will not show up in Shazam Fury of the God since that movie will be revolving about gods or maybe in some other time that in an, an, another film, I really want that he could face to face also the battle against Superman. He, but Henry Cavill's Superman. Yeah, which Dwayne Johnson always wanted to do. Working with Henry Cavill. Which, yeah, these two are friends. So that's it for this video. Please like this video and subscribe to be updated always in Bride, yes. And let me know in the comments, which among these two movies you're mostly excited for, The Flash or Black Adam? Or any other upcoming DC movie like Robert Pattinson's The Batman, or even Shazam Fury of the Gods, or even Aquaman 2, which is now titled The Lost Kingdom. And as always, see you next time, and stay safe of course.